last. I'll take that off last. But that, there's a big piece of soapstone under the blue tarp. They're carving out bowls there. Once they isolate them from the rock, pry them out, they bring them down over here. We brought most of them out, but here's one that we left. This is soapstone. Okay, so this is a big chunk that they could make a platter out of or a long um, serving bowl. And that, look, see how it's got green in it? When you polish that, it looks really nice. So they actually, did they actually use this? No, or this is in the process this is a, of in the process of, right, exactly. But then to show you, I mean, I just, we got enough water in here. I'm good. Hey, Paul, could you help? If you could grab the other end of that. Oh, wow. <laughs> Look at that. Can I step in there? This is, yes you can. It's going to be muddy. Okay. So this chunk right here, that's all soapstone. That bowl, look at this. I mean, when they're done with that, that thing's going to be 200 pounds. I mean, once you, once you hollow it out, it'll be less. Yeah. This one's a smaller one here. And if you look on the side, they're actually, they're stacking them. So they're starting to curve through one underneath there as well. So if you look, that, that channel, that's all done by hand. We're talking about days and days worth of work to isolate that. And here again, um, if you put your hand under it, they're starting to undercut it. But yeah, I mean, it really is amazing. My hand could go all the way under there because they're starting to isolate this bowl. I don't know how much more work really it would have taken to remove either one of these as blanks. So you know, this thing gets pried up. They would have put, brought it down the hill where secondary work is going on and then finally they, they carve lugs in or handles onto the sides. And then they're trading these things. They wouldn't bring that back to wherever they're more permanent. Area. We've got uh, we have clear evidence here in the form of tools and tailings that say, no, man, they're doing a lot of that work right here. Didn't I hear that it was traditional for the men to do this? You know, again, as a 3,000-year-old site, I don't know. Today, yeah, you're right. It's a male activity. And you want, I mean, you're going to need some muscle. This is not, it's not, it doesn't take the same sorts of physical skills that, say, pottery making does. 